Hey yo boss and welcome back. Today chef's going to show us how to make oven baked macaroni and cheese. Such a simple dish as well as uh, a delicious dish and uh, comfort food for the springtime coming up to end out that winter. We're actually doing this to honor Kayla on our team, her Nana, who passed away a couple weeks ago. Uh, Kayla ended up losing both of her grandmothers in about a month, and it's been a tough time for the team, but uh, thanks for all your support recently, um, and we wanted to share this because we knew she would love uh, for the team to share with us, and she loved to cook. Um, she was very loved and will be very missed, so this one's for her. Today, we want to share this also because winter time's closing out, but it's a great time to kind of cook one more nice hearty meal. So let's go ahead and get cooking. So the first thing you're going to do is just get a uh, nice oven safe pan or you know, a pot and chef's going to just sprinkle some cheese on the bottom, sharp cheddar, triple cheddar, and then mozzarella. So kind of three cheeses in one. Go ahead and take some pre-cooked macaroni. So this is kind of al dente. It's not cooked all the way through. We're just gonna layer the next, uh, the bottom there. So we're just gonna be making layers. And now just a couple slabs of butter there. And Chef, after he made this, probably said get away with about three. Once the butter's on, go ahead again, another layer of cheese. And all we're doing is just layering this right up one after another. Go ahead and season it with just a little bit of pepper. You don't need too much in this. You don't want to overcome the macaroni and cheese flavor. And here we have our layers. So we have cheese and macaroni, cheese, macaroni with butter in between. And next we're just going to go ahead and pour a little bit of milk in. It's about a cup right around the edges and then a little bit in the middle. You don't want too much. And then put this right in the oven, 350 degrees, for roughly about an hour. We checked it about halfway through, and it has some nice golden brown edges. It's coming along nicely. <laughs> Chef went ahead and took it out, and the sides are kind of bubbling from the little extra butter that he had. But he says, you give it about 5-10 minutes, let it cool, and everything will just settle, and then you can start opening it up and serving. And there's kind of the final shot of it. Very beautiful golden brown crust, and it came out really delicious. You can serve this up alone, or you can have a side with it. But as you can see, it's very simple to make. Just a couple steps, and you can have really that homemade style, all natural ingredients, cheese without the powder, mac and cheese. Now, of course, we know everyone's still going to have that box mac and cheese in their pantry, and we're not going to judge, but it's okay. Try this out. Definitely subscribe if you haven't yet and check out our how-to videos. There's going to be one on cooking macaroni as well as other ones. So thanks again, everyone. Cooking should be fun. 